Hello again. I recently released a tutorial video about walk animation, and it got an unexpectedly huge number of views. In this video, I'll show you how I created the run animation. This tutorial will be more of a demonstration than a step-by-step -step guide. I'll show how my skeleton structured, and how I used it to create a realistic running animation. Let's get started. Everything starts with the X and Y controller points, which are used to move the entire model. From the main Y point, I created a similar XY control system for the pelvis, and the same setup was made for the legs. Each Lex Y point is linked to an X point. Each Lex Y point serves as the parent for both, the tip bone and the ankle IK. There's also an additional leg structure with an IK in the middle, which moves base on the knee bone from the main rake. This helps to preserve the correct knee shape during bending. At the base of each leg, I place two small controller bones, which is pelvis turning system. These two points are parented to another controller that allows pelvis rotation without affecting the rest of the skeleton. The base of the tail and the simple hoodie rig are both controlled by the pelvis mover using the transform constraint option. The IKs in this hoodie setup move automatically when the legs are lifted. Moving up along the spine near the shoulders, there's the same rotation system that affects the upper body movement. The arms also have their own IK constraints. For the hood, I tested two different bone setups, but in my case, the difference wasn't significant. As for the head, nothing new here. There's a chain of bones for each hair strand, a head rotation system, and a setup for eyes and blinking. Let's build the animation step by step using a new example. I'll start by copying the X animation of the leg. Doesn't look great so far. Let's keep going. I'll slow it down a bit for better viewing. Next, I'll add the Y animation. There we go. It's already looking less linear. Now for the tip of the foot. And finally, the ankle animation. Excellent, a complete leg animation. But since the body moves entirely during running, this is only half of the work. Let's add pelvis rotation and also a bit of rotation on this system using this controller point. Once one leg is fully animated, you can simply copy it to the other leg. They move in sync, so just offset the animation of the second leg a bit. I'd slightly adjusted the second leg, so I'll just copy what I have here as an example. This is quite a dynamic motion. The body should bounce slightly, which we can achieve with the pelvis movers. Much better. Now let's work on the shoulder rotation. Following proper running mechanics, the pelvis and torso rotation should go in opposite directions. Try running yourself and you'll see what I mean. The arms add inertia, making the run feel more natural. Let's add that too. Overall, it's already looking good. To make the body feel less stiff, we can add a bounce animation to each spine bone. As you can clearly see in the example, it's like a spring under load. The hair animation is done by bending it in both directions and offsetting each strand's bone like a staircase pattern. I also added head rotation and the eye system. That's pretty much it for today. It's quite tiring to explain the same things over and over again, so I hope you'll check out my other videos for anything I didn't cover here. Please don't judge the animation too harshly. I didn't use any references. I just made it the way I imagined it in my head. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, and see you next time.